On I-75 early Tuesday, the victims are Dr. Richard Sadowich and Kaylin Theobald. Police say Theobald was driving the wrong way when her car hit Sadowich head on. The doctor's car spun out and was hit a second time by a tractor trailer. We're learning more about the doctor and the impact he had on our community. Dallas Payton has the story. A memorial table was put together for Richard Howard Sadowitz to show how much of a family man he was, a Florida Gators fan, a shot glass collector, and simply the best dad ever. Sadowitz leaves behind three kids, Rebecca, Samuel, and Philip. He was my dad and I loved him so much. He's in here in my dreams. As a part of Rebecca's grieving process, she made the memorial table as a way for her to remember the good times and passions that he shared with his kids. Him teaching us how to bowl, play cards, um, taking us to the movies, mm -hmm. and out to dinners. We went to the Bubba Gump and Red Lobster and Miller's. Rebecca says her father was devoted to his family and the community. He was a very dedicated physician. He was a gastroenterologist or stomach doctor. And one of the, and so many people have said that they owe their lives to my dad for either catching colon cancer or directing their diagnoses. Rebecca says her dad took time to get to know his patients. Samuel was one of the first to know about his dad's passing. I hear my dad's fiance who I was living with at the time just knock on my door and just bawling saying that my dad had died in the accident on I-75 Tuesday morning. When things got hectic or overwhelming for Samuel, his dad was always there for him. He would be the one to just say, hey Sam, calm down, take a step back. Let's think about this a little bit. And he would, like when things were going a million miles an hour for me, he would be there to just facilitate that step back. Additional visitation and a service will be held on September 7 at 6 p.m. at MESPA Congregation. For Local 3 News, I'm Dallas Payton. The Biden administration says the city of Chattanooga and the Chattanooga Housing Authority have been awarded $2.9 million. The goal is to make the one Westside Projects James